At Magnify Station, two rail lines will travel 3.4 kilometers underground on Waitemata Station, entering and exiting the tunnel portal. At the portal, these two rail lines will split into four rail lines, traveling passages through four tunnels. Together, these new rail lines will connect the existing Western Line and the Mangapau Station concourse. Inside the four tunnels, two lines will head west towards Kington Station and two will head east towards Grafton Station. The TVM tunnel is connected to both Western Tunnels and the first Eastern Tunnel. The third mine tunnel is connected to the second Eastern Tunnel, which runs underneath the Western Tunnel. On site, to help differentiate these new lines, we refer to the Western Lines as MC30 and MC20 and the Eastern Lines as MC60 and MC50. At the portal, trains will transition through the complex structure behind us, referred to as the Newton Junction Box. This structure is where the 7.5 metre high Boyd TBM tunnel transitions into the two 6 metre high box tunnels. The TBM board tunnels are both bi irrification tunnels, branching from one tunnel into two tunnels, heading east to west. Our team poured a lot of concrete to complete this structure, totaling over a thousand cubes between the walls, base slabs and roofs. As you can see, work is progressing on all four tunnels at Mongafo Station. The steel and concrete base is now complete for the first Western Tunnel. The teams are now constructing the six meter high walls that you can see behind me. Inside the second Eastern Tunnel, 4,000 meters cube of concrete has been poured and over 1,000 tons of steel has been installed in the base slab and walls. The final step for the crew is to construct the roof slabs that you can see behind me. After this, they'll move on and construct the second Western Tunnel. The four reinforced concrete tunnels are constructed in sections using two main methods one cut and cover and two the top down. So cut and cover is similar to your traditional house construction but we start from the surface and we excavate down to the underside of the floor slab. From there we construct the floor slabs followed by the walls and then the roof. All the elements in the top down is constructed in a similar way but where it differs is again right from the surface. From the surface we start by installing piles along the alignment of where the future walls will be formed and then from there we excavate down to the underside of the roof slab. We then construct the roof slab and then it turns into a mining operation. Below us is the first of the two eastern cut and cover tunnels. This was completed earlier this year and is made up of three and a half thousand cubic metres of concrete. Teams are now installing rail in the tunnel, which runs 190 metres from the Mount Eden road bridge through to the tunnel portal behind us. We're now in the home stretch, as later this year, the tunnel portal behind us will start to be filled back to street level. Watch this space as our team's hard mahi will soon disappear 26 metres underground. Oh, 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 oh